Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today we're going to show you how to remove the fluorescent turret and the fluorescent illuminator on an IX2 system. And then we're going to put it back in so you can see how to assemble it. So first, we're going to take out the fluorescent cube turret. So right here on the right side of the system, you'll put a three millimeter Allen wrench and you'll loosen that screw that's in there. And then this will push right out. Sometimes it'll get caught on the focus. So you want to make sure the focus knob is all the way up. The nose piece is all the way up there. All right. On each side, you'll notice this hole right here above the field stop. The field stop's only going to be on the right side. You'll need to put a four millimeter Allen wrench in there. And there's a screw inside. Four millimeter fits it perfect. And you'll loosen it up. Then you'll remove this pull rod for the field stop, it'll just screw right out. And then on the other side here, there's gonna be another hole, four millimeters. Just loosen it up. And then it'll pull right out. Okay, now we're gonna put it all back together so you can see the assembly side. Right here, we've got the fluorescent illuminator. We're gonna slide it in the back side. Then you, we're gonna put in the field stop here. It screws right in. There'll be four millimeter Allen holes in each side. You'll tighten those down. There's one on the opposite side. You just saw it when we were doing the disassembly side. And the fluorescent turret, it'll slide in right here on this dovetail. If I don't rotate it. And then you want to lock it in right here with a three mil on this side. Now, once you do this, you want to take the fluorescent power supply, put it on and make sure everything is good and bright. And then, uh, your system should be ready to use. So give us a call if you got any questions.